Lowell. The Riverhawks getting set to host the Hawks at the University at Hartford for the second straight day. Today, Tracy Carter got an early foul trouble. Chris never really found his rhythm after that. And there's that man, Alan Blunt. He able to get one off. Wayward pass, I'm not sure Williams nice is look. ready for it. Williams catches the feed from Carter. Lowell just two for six from the field to start this one off. Down by three. Marks now on the offensive end. Finds the bottom of the net. Able to step in and help out on the defensive end here. Now Noel, beautiful feed to Bryce Daly underneath, who puts two more on the board. Veteran play by Bryce. Get under the basket, because that forces the defense to go and find him. Obadiah Noel, soft touch. William still runs it down. Williams now around a screen, aggressive take. Adley Daly the rebound, third bite at the apple for the Riverhawks. Daly up Bryce and gets it to go. Daly! Jimmy's into the paint, his pass tipped, taken away by Mitchell into the front court, elevates and lays it in. Whoa. Williams, big time Whoa. take! Really close, Gallagher was looking up, I thought he was gonna fall backwards. Good laps. Finishes with the left. Waiting for him to explode. Carter. Pretty. That's a big time move there. Tracy Carter. He scored in a Hartford uniform. He's getting closer and closer as Max Brooks finishes with the left. Withers. He tries a three. That's off the heel. Daly. Bryce Daly, big time rebound in traffic. Khalil Thomas. Khalil got Thomas it. played for him. You absolutely love him. But if you're competing against him, Another big time take by Williams. Nice for open looks. Noel can't answer. Bouget loses the basketball up ahead. Williams elevates. Windmill jam. Culture and the personality of their coach. We see Khalil with an easy one. Big slam for Khalil Thomas. Yeah, good weekend this weekend, Chris. Good job running the team. Williams again. 29 points, a career day for him. And he and the Hawks emerge with a weekend split against UMass Lowell and a double-digit victory this afternoon to Custer.